Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Shandon. If you are new here, I speak about topics for inner transformation, spirituality, manifestation. I also specialize in human design and I would consider myself an artist. I love making music and creating. Before we start jumping into today's topic in this video, my offerings such as one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, my ebook, The Power of Imagination, other free resources, including a community, they can be found in the link in my bio. If you resonate with my videos, with me, with what I embody now, or with the knowledge I myself have gathered and am sharing, make sure you subscribe, it's free. <laughs> so today's topic, I felt very called to speak about the Christ consciousness. I myself have been wandering this planet amongst a lot of uncertainty and following faith, led by something very mysterious. Which has been a process of returning back to over and over again, to remain in clarity, for which my last business and website has been called Meditative Living, to sustain clarity, sustain a vision led by the heart instead of a false indoctrinated ego which isn't primarily focused on delivering service to the world and others. I want you to just simply tune into the energy that is felt for you at this moment, any sensations The topic that we're going to discuss today is something that I consider myself to be important for very right reasons which we will discuss. But primarily, we have come here today and we have stumbled upon the creation and the co-creation of this video Because we have found that there is something more fundamental and true within our own being. We have come here today to contemplate this truth. When we speak of the Christ consciousness, and if you want to embody this Christ consciousness, it is important, which is one of my main gifts, to logically comprehend such a thing. However, I will back it up with a few experiences as well throughout this video and especially one which has happened during the 11.11 portal. As you see behind me, there is the beautiful, has just passed full moon in Taurus. Exalted in Taurus, beautiful grounding energy. On the very day of the 11.11 portal, something happened to me and I've been meditating with an entity which we all know ever since ancient times such as Egypt called Ra, whose collective mind resides within what we call the energy and the very gifts of Venus, 
when we begin to speak of Christ consciousness, one of the primary words we have to be very careful with these words because there are many teachings out there which can be very deceiving from this embodiment this state this truth this enlightened aspect of who we even mentally deem to be ourselves. But this consciousness, it is not some fluffy, all at the time, feel good state. which even a lot of teachers say it is all love and all light. Well, I myself, when I lived in Peru for two years, have experienced what it's like to die and to trace myself back, to be in that love and that light. What we seek the Christ consciousness is not that. What makes me say this, you might question. The Christ consciousness isn't something. It is in fact a form of surrendering. Now, in the military they use the word surrender, but in the spiritual communities, the word surrender comes and forms the base identity of embodying and becoming the Christ. This state of consciousness is most accessible within our heart space. This state of consciousness, it is not just an easy done thing. It requires commitment, commitment to our soul, commitment to this very consciousness, which relishes through us. For as the silence and the space itself soaks in this divine aspect of consciousness. When we watch, when we surrender, I have previously spoke that it is not this easy thing. We are now here in this incarnation of on earth we are experiencing a certain vibration or reality because of our frequency our belief that we are separate from the one mind for which none of creation has ever happened yet is happening for where there is no thing, for when we surrender our pains, for when we surrender our thoughts to God, to the Christ, and we let the Christ in, we quickly experientially realize that we have fallen into the addictive patterns of our mind, which has believed and has become ignorant to its own creations, which we here on earth experience majority as suffering. 
For when we speak of this Christ consciousness, it is not some fluffy experience which has faultily, if that's even a word, been taught through many spiritual teachers which use spirituality to escape that which is true, to escape sinful behaviors that come from a mind that is impure, for come of the ego which attaches to identity and desires that do not stem from a higher truth that has been seated within our human experience. Now, I know for when you watch me and this video, I know you have been on the path of healing, profound healing and self-discovery. And I know it has not been easy. You have lived lifetimes countless and I know that you know that the very reason why you came to this video is because there's something inside of you that knows that this Christ consciousness is more true than any of our attachments that we experience any faulty desires and patterns of thinking that have only caused us misery and has kept us in the continual experience of reincarnating to certain geometrical patterns of experience expressed through what we view as the illusion of life in this three-dimensional plane where almost all may seem and does at many times seem temporarily or majority separated from what we believe is us. Our mind then creates this wonderful agenda and plan to feel good because we want to cope with our suffering. For that reason, I emphasize on the importance of your discernment listening to even me but every single body for as only you hold the truth for only all words and experiences have been merely created perhaps for the purpose to point you back to what you know to be true and I'm here to tell you, and this is something that I have continually experienced over my past four years, five now, of wandering this planet, being taught by amazing teachers, but especially that which resonates much more with our true self, which we call nature, which we know as Mother Earth. To be who you truly are, your authentic expression, right? Well, I'm not here to invalidate any of your desires of manifesting. For I express in this way because there are so many distortions around these topics. And I want you to become embodied in that which is true. So step two, you have committed to embodying the Christ, the path of enlightenment. There is an energy, there is a fire calling within your soul. Desperately asking to be cleansed for as when you relish in this power, You get to experience a side of life and consciousness which 
speaks even right now words of truth that do not make sense to the mind I began this video speaking about the delight and this love well these are crucial steps towards enlightenment and there will be phases before you reach the full embodiment of Christ consciousness where we learn how to receive and give love but the primary focus on this video it's, it's beyond it is beyond feeling good, feeling bad and I know you've heard this in many non-duality videos so have I I have quit non-duality for quite some bit I have turned ignorant but truth always prevails over and over again and when you e experience it through surrendering there is this vast space and you instantly know For as you simply watch and the body is set, negative energies because of your unwavering commitment for truth and embodying the Christ, living heart-centered, heart-led through life, knowing, having faith, as faith is all that will ever remain, you get to see and know, and you know it now. that the truth is plain as plain as the space between all stars it is non-creation and if there's one home It is that the Vedic have spoken that, and it's a beautiful way to look at it, that life has been created, all these dimensions, which we continually, as we all continually evolve, experience like a movie but it seems so true to come back and return all the way to one and over my past few years and it began ever since I was a child I grew up without siblings and I spent a lot of time alone in my life I then in the Netherlands tried to find the love that my body has not seemingly sufficiently experienced to maintain that constant experience of Christ for then I searched 
and most of us on earth in all the wrong places. <laughs> and we laugh because We know it's a soul's way of just laughing at this joke. <laughs> we know. <laughs> the soul has been freaking knowing it. <laughs> all the time. The soul just knew all the freaking time. Before we step into the topic of what I had experienced on the 11-11. I do want to speak on incarnation. And this is a very big passion that I hold for myself. For I have even written an entire book about my experience and my remembering of my past life. Why I needed to remember how these certain puzzle pieces all came together for me to understand and teach the importance of not only understanding the laws that govern our universe and our reality, but the karma. And karma in itself, I'm stubborn, but they have been very right, these Buddhist people. And so about the manifestation, there's a lot of truth to these topics. But be careful of not being caught up and getting lost within the mind expressed from the ego, which will continually create desires because of our ever so contrasting experience of polarity in our earth life but I'm here to tell you that there are realities that you may experience outside of earth reality for if you continue and devote and commit to the path of Christ consciousness. Surrender emotions, senses, thoughts, and especially our ties. That's the only, that's a very powerful word, the word ties to this earthly plane of experience. I've been taught by a teacher named Yeshira Lady. And there are many monks and teachers and beings that wander our planet that know about the great migration that is happening. Now, Earth will always continue to evolve in this time. And our soul is so free that you may choose this. You might be one of these souls for perhaps the reason why you come across these videos and are interested in it because you know there is more fundamental truth of who you are. But if you wish to experience a different avatar, these speakers, Ms. Yoshida has taught me that we can upload our consciousness to other avatars and other realities which have complete different structures to them, complete different laws, complete different conditioning. There are realities where 
there is less suffering. And there is obviously the truthful reality, which contains no suffering because there is no thing. There's not even light. It's not even dark. You can't call it that. I'm looking into the lens of my camera. For it has shadow in it. Yet looking into this lens. What can we see? The soul is free. The soul is boundless. And our soul has much more power than we think. If you are more interested in the topic of uploading our consciousness and the great migration that is happening for souls that are ready to ascend. Again, make sure you read my book, The Power of Imagination, which speaks a lot about preparing for a newer reality, for where then aspects of our higher self, a higher version of our self, becomes more clear that you are in fact invited, for you have the choice to stop the reincarnating process and suffering and incarnating in a world filled with suffering and migrate to a different avatar and experience with more light. Not to forget that our earth is in fact heading that way too. Our bodies are already transforming. We are already evolving. 2027 marks one of these very big changes, which has been spoken about abundantly within human design and gene keys. For as the gate 55, which is found within our solar plexus, emotions begins to rupture into for what it has been preparing to experience for centuries. Similar to the dragonfly, which finds itself in the reality, perhaps in a stagnant river, abundantly feeding off of the moss and little planktons, perhaps, if they are there, living its horizontal life, and suddenly it goes this sudden transformation of enlightenment, leaves this three-dimensional crazy body, and boom, goes upwards into more truth of what is possibly there. Similarly, that is what 2027 is for us. But beyond that are these realities that I'm speaking of. To wrap this video off, I want to share a little experience that I had on the 1111 portal. I was sitting right here in meditation and I stood up and I wanted to cook myself a meal and I did. I went to the kitchen and if you have experienced, I'm quite sure you have, we actually do this more than we think, but there are certain entities, arguably a contract, for we have maybe previously agreed upon to intervene and to ask for permission, but I've been studying the law of one I highly recommend this book. It is about Ra, which does not experience the same body-mind complex of our system that we do, yet has wandered our planet. For as Ra and this collective is our higher self, ultimately. For which is also seeking truth beyond what it is experiencing as 
a constant experience as we are all continuously evolving. I stood cooking my meal and as I spoke about channeling, I, 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 I get this throat itch. Then I instantly know that there is this being that wants to talk through me. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be what I'm doing for you guys now. Like, I'm not really aware what is really channeling through me much when I speak now. It's just my higher self usually. But this is an experience and it comes from my body-mind complex, majorly. And I get this itch in my throat. And I, ins I instantly know, in my finger now, I instantly know that there is this being that wants to speak through me very strongly. So I then usually, and I get goosebumps just talking about it because it's so powerful. And I sit and um, there's this thing that happens where my consciousness becomes so elevated that it is only me and this channel just like a radio station and you're like suddenly listening to like this random radio station right you're in this island in the middle of nowhere you just get the right tune and you tap into this random frequency waves of sounds and suddenly there is that reality and this being and it speaks with the uttermost clarity <laughs> the uttermost clarity guys I cannot explain to you guys the freaking clarity of this entity Ra this collective which is also a reason why I created my business which is primarily an expression of my vision of creating a much more beautiful world in harmony with Venus the planet of love beauty and abundance romance union togetherness oneness lavender pink indigo slightly softness gentleness elegance luxury i remember asking like i wanted to know more about Ra. so it explained okay it's this being six density blah 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 and it came to a point where it was so direct hey shannon you have a choice right now you can you can transcend you can you have the choice and I was like, I instantly knew what he was talking about. It was a masculine energy. And he said, you have the choice now to step into a complete new reality. I asked, what is this new reality like? No response, because I already knew it. There was no, it's unimaginable. That's the thing. It is not imaginable I've experienced aspects of this universe where complete new realities are born from nothing and these are six dimensional beings which are kind of like the designers of realities entire realities they're designers of complete new structures of geometry as well within in the eighth density and i he told me ra i asked what do i need to do the conversation went on and on and on and it came to a point where it explained to me very clearly that i can leave now and my whole body and ego started questioning all these questions and there's no judgment from his side at all 
what happens to this reality? What happens to everything I've accumulated? What happens to everything like I have lived and I have gathered and I have come to know? And the instant answer was just, you, you permanently die. Permanent death was his answer. And that brought this whole revelation of this knowing again, this embodiment of this Christ consciousness. And I agreed with Ra and I said, yes, I, I want to transcend, I'm ready, I want to go. For I have been experiencing a lot of suffering lately. And this teaching was something I needed to align with what my soul knows to be true. And for I know I've been preparing to teach and share for as this is a journey that we're this part that of us, we are experiencing and we are returning to. So when I agreed, I said, how, how do I, how do I do it? I, I, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. And then all these thoughts came up. Will I be able to come back to this reality again? Permanent death. And I know death is a topic that is like, ooh, but go to Peru study the Mayans, study Atlantis, you will see that death is the most celebrated thing. Ancient Egypt, death is like when people, people, when they die, like it's literally like partied. <laughs> and I knew what was happening. So I sat with, and I knew what was happening and it brought all these attachments towards my mother and my father, my dearest ones that I love, all my hopes, all my desires, they all came to the forefront and it held me to this earth plane and I saw it very clear. And I, I, I said, I don't know Rob, like, I, want, I just want a glimpse of it, show me what it's like. And he gave me this one mantra, and it's Om Ha, Om Ha Me Ha Me, Om Ha Me Ha, Om Ha Me Ha, Om Ha Me Ha, Om Ha Me Ha, Om Ha Me Ha. And it has this frequency to it when you really get to the Om Ha Me Ha, like when you really get to that, and your soul like continues to do that from under the heart center and it continues to raise the frequency and suddenly the body gets into this trance and it continues repeating frequency elevates because it frequently does this soul's language truth <laughs> because it frequently reaffirms frequency these truths of the soul and these aspects for which the soul wants and is chanting and speaking into existence and is then experiencing and it brings you to this truth beyond time and space and it brought me there and I saw all my attachments very clearly and I instantly knew what I had to do like I have spoken earlier there's a great addiction to this earth life and it is arguable that it is in fact what we call our soul and I've even written an entire chapter I was living in New York City and meditating a lot 
at the river um, between Hoboken and New York City, specifically Manhattan. And I sat there and this revelation came that I would sacrifice everything, even my soul, for this truth that I'm experiencing right now, which is this oneness. For as the accumulation of experience, it does not exist in this truth. The accumulation of sep seemingly separateness ceases to exist. As the utter truth, which resides in our hearts and desperately wants to speak through us, has no self. And when you are guided, and this, we are going to end this session here, when we are led by our hearts and guided by our hearts and this selfless aspect of our self. We want others to experience what we hold to be most truthful in our hearts. And that is what this channel is all about. And I know this has been a video with some very funny rides between different states of consciousness and playfulness and all these wonderful, marvelous things. But my mission is clear. These things that I've just been spoken about, this is what I stand for. I stand for a much more beautiful world where we are much more in harmony with this truth within our hearts. And I am not someone who settles for these little transformations. You've probably, like me, have experienced and is probably experiencing and has experienced a lot of trauma and suffering. If you seek, if you seek to learn more of these laws, I really want to know how to manifest from the heart to live a life in accordance to our higher self. Subscribe. That's all I can say. I want you to know that you're always held within your heart. For as home is there. And it's always buzzing if you need it. Surrender your thoughts to God. Work with certain aspects of the universe, such as the Archangels, which reside between the 6th and the 7th dimension. For they are the holders of truth for which we are gravitating to right now. They're always there, you can call upon them. Um, yeah, let me know. You know what, what's been going on. Let me know if there's any questions. I want to know what is happening for you and how I can help in the best way that I can. That's it. All right, have a good one, guys. I hope you enjoyed.